Hi, I'm Katie from Barn2 Media and I'm going to show you how to set up the Post Table Pro WordPress plugin. We're going to use it to create a table which automatically lists our blog posts and I'll also show you how to display other post types such as pages, documents, e-commerce products, um, anything you like really. So long as it's a type of post in WordPress, you can display it using Post Table Pro. Now, before you do what I'm going to tell you, you need to get the Post Table Pro plugin from our website, barn2.co.uk and install it on your website. And once you've installed it, you should have it on your site like this. And I also expect you to already have some content on your site, which you will use to display in Post Table Pro. So to use the example I'm going to show you on my WordPress website here, I have some posts already added. So you can see that I've got a list of posts and these are what I'm going to show you how to display in a table. The first step is to go to the plugin settings page, which is in the settings link in the WordPress admin, you'll see a post table pro link, which is added by the plugin. First of all, you need to enter the license key at the top, which you will receive both on the confirmation page when you buy the plugin and also in the email that you receive after you buy the plugin. So get the license key and paste it in the box and then just scroll down to choose your settings. You'll see, first of all, post selection, which is where you choose what type of content you want to list in the table. Now, I just want to show my blog posts, which are in the post section of WordPress. And this drop down will also list all the other post types that you have on your website. So, for example, I have pages, as you can see, which are pages, attachment, which is media files. And if you had any other custom post types or plugins which create their own post types, such as an e-commerce plugin or an events plugin, then that would display here so you can select it. Um, just if you did want to create multiple tables, each listing different types of content from your WordPress website, then you can also edit the short code, and I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute, to create different tables on different parts of your site. On this settings page, these are all the global settings, which will affect all the tables you create using Post Table Pro, unless you specify otherwise in the short code, which we'll use in a minute. So I just want to use posts, which I've got here. Then scroll down and you'll see lots of other options. I'm not going to, to tell you about all of them now because you can see there's lists, there's links to the knowledge base, uh, which lists all the articles and has full instructions for all the different types of content and option that you can have in Post Table Pro. So, and there's also links, contextual links to the most, um, the, the options that need more explanation. So for example, on the columns, there's lots of different columns that you can display in your table with Post Table Pro. And these are some default ones that will just put there by default, but click on the read more link and you'll be able to see all the available columns and how to add them in the box here. So go through all the options and choose the ones that you want for your table and then you click save changes at the bottom. That will activate your license key and save all the default settings that you have chosen. The next step is to go and create a page or you can go to an existing page if you prefer. I'm going to go pages, add new, and let's just call it post table pro. Um, you can call it whatever you want. And to add the table directly to our website, you need to find this toolbar button. Uh, it's on the bottom right, depending on what other plugins you've got installed. And if you hover over, it says insert posts table. If you don't have a bottom row here, then it's because you need to click this toolbar toggle button. See how this button shows and hides the second row. A lot of people miss that. So if you can't see the second row, that's why. So you click on insert posts table and you can see that it's put a short code there. So let's publish our post and have a look at it. So I'm going to view page, and sorry, just because I've got password protection on my site, that's not relevant to Post Table Pro. So here we have a table, and that lists all the posts on my site. It's got columns, which you saw on the settings page, one for the featured image. This post doesn't have a featured image, which is why there isn't one. It's got the post title, 
the summary, uh, which is the first however many letters of the content. There's an option on the settings page that you can choose how many characters are displayed here. Um, you've got categories and it's quite good because you can click on a category to filter the list uh, by that category depending on your settings or you can have it as I have so that it will link you through to the category page to view all the posts in that category. So there's a few different things you could do with the categories option. I've got an author column and you can see I can search, I uh, can sort by any column and I've got the date. And uh, I've also got some controls above the table search box. And these are basically the default ones, but you can add filters as well, like filter drop downs and things like that. And um, uh, I'd also recommend um, usually with a table like this, you want quite a lot of space and it's looking a bit cramped on my site because I've got a sidebar there. So what I'm going to do is change my template to full width. Now your theme may or may not have a full width template available, but have a look and if you want to hide the sidebar to make more space for your posts, then you can do so. Uh, so that's what I've got. Uh, I've created a table listing all of this information, which I can control very easily from the plugin settings page. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also, if you prefer, control your table directly from the short code. By the short code, I mean this that I entered here. So let's say that I want to display pages instead. So to do that, I go post underscore type equals page. So let's update our page and see what that looks like. All of this is documented in the plugin knowledge base. And so this example is if I wanted to have most of my tables displaying posts, but one table with pages, then that's how I do it. So let's see how it looks. So now I am displaying pages. Um, some of this is because I've got other plugins installed on my site. So this isn't a bug with the plugin. It's just because I've got lots of short codes and now I've deactivated those plugins uh, from other parts of my site. But these are the pages on my site and it's automatically listing them in a table. So Let's go back, let's delete that and it will show posts again. And finally, I'll just show you how to add filters. Again, you can do that for all your tables globally on the plugin settings page, or you can do it directly in the short code. And to do that, you write filters equals, and the easiest way is to write true within quotation marks. So if you do that, and then let's refresh, we'll go back to showing posts and see there's filter above the table there. You can also choose exactly what filters you want to display by listing them with a comma between each one. So let's go filter equals categories and tags and let's see what that looks like. So now I'm going to have two filter drop downs, one for categories and one for tags so that I can quickly uh, filter the list by categories or tags. And that's it. You've learned how to use Post Table Pro to list any type of content from your WordPress website in a table with search box, sorting, filters, and lots of different options so that you can control how it works. The plugin comes with full support, so feel free to submit our plugin support form if you need any help or if you get stuck at any point. Thanks for watching.